Hey guys, welcome to the Touchdown Table. I'm Ryan, that's Tyler, that's Jordan. And in this video, we are going to be previewing some potential trades that we think could be occurring during day one of the NFL draft. You know, always there are so many crazy trades that occur on draft day. But we're going to try and, you know, predict some that could happen ahead of time before they actually happen on draft day, which is still a few weeks away. Yep, so I'll try to get us started. I think for this video, what we'll do is we'll go down the order, say if a team's going to be willing to trade or not, and see if there'd be any teams that are willing to come up to that spot and take it, or maybe we just go for the teams and see if they're going to want to trade. Um, so we'll figure it out. But I'm just going to run through the order, and we'll talk about things that could be happening at or around that pick. So we start at pick one with the Cincinnati Bengals. All two of us at this table and the one guy behind me on the screen – uh, we all believe that the Bengals are not looking to trade this pick whatsoever. They're definitely going to get offers. You, you think they might? I don't think they're going to trade uh, away, but I have an offer. They, they definitely. They're, I think they're absolutely going to get offers from some from some teams to try to trade up to get Joe Burrow, whoever they have ranked at one. Uh, we all have Burrow ranked at one. Uh, so there will be offers, but I think the Bengals hold on to it and get Joe Burrow. Yeah, I, I was watching the Rich Eisen show today. And he said on the show that it's possible that if the Dolphins really like Joe Burrow, they could get rid of all three of their first-round picks. And if the Bengals don't want that, he said maybe even, or maybe it was Peter King that said it. I can't remember who said it, but it was one of them. And they said that if they don't want the three picks, then you give them the first-round pick next year because that's how good Joe Burrow is. And wow. I thought that was so a, four first-round picks then? That's, yeah. That'd be crazy. Yeah. I think... I don't think the Dolphins would go all, all that much in because they're still somewhat in rebuild mode. So they I don't think it's a good idea. But no, they still need to use those picks to pick up some defensive guys, pick up maybe a lineman, a star on defense. They still need those picks. I wouldn't suggest that for the Dolphins or really the Bengals' sake. Next pick, though, we'll go to the Redskins. Uh, there have been talks about them trading this pick, but I think they hold on to this pick and most likely t take Chase Young. Uh, yeah, Chase Young's just too good to pass up. Redskins have a lot of needs. you got to stay put at this number two pick, Washington. Yep. And now take we, Chase. Yes. Now we move on to three. This is a hot spot for trades. It's the Detroit Lions. Uh, they don't necessarily need one of these stud guys currently. I mean, they have a lot of holes on their team, but they're not like they're in the range of a high quarterback uh, with, with Tua and Herbert still on the board. So teams can be trying to trade up to get their guy to the number three spot to make sure. They get their franchise quarterback of the future. So the Lions uh, could be in trade central. Who do you guys think could trade up to pick number three? Well, I, I think it's going to be Miami. I, yeah, I'd be surprised if the Lions were even picking at three. I think the Dolphins or the Chargers are going to try and trade up and get their guy at three. I don't think the Lions are going to have the third overall pick in this draft. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and one thing to add, I think that, yes, it's about – the team trading up to get their quarterback that they want. But I think this is also almost just as much about Detroit trading down because they know that yeah. they would likely take Jeffrey Okuda at three, but then they could still get him at five and five or maybe even six. Oh, in the worst case scenario, yeah, maybe would. Isaiah Simmons or Derek Brown, two good players that will go in the top ten Absolutely. will still be there for them because Detroit's got a lot of needs. Trading down would allow for them to accumulate some more draft picks. You know, this it's not like this team is a player away. They went three twelve and one last year. They have work to do, so getting more draft picks would be good for them. And like I said, Okuda if they trade down, they'll probably still be there at five or six, and that's who they would have taken at three anyway. Yeah, and like to, just to back that point a bit more, the teams that would be trading them most likely would be the Dolphins or the Chargers. Maybe another team very risky from deep would try to trade up to get a quarterback or some other player that they really like. Uh, but behind the pick number three, it's the Giants who are going to stay with their pick. They don't need a quarterback, so they don't have to, teams don't have to worry about that. Um, so maybe the Lions have to worry about the, the Giants taking Okuda, that's their only concern because then with the Dolphins and the Chargers, you're fully expecting most likely a quarterback, either Herbert or two of whoever's there. So whatever team is trading up for them, I think the, the Lions are pretty much safe at that point. Um, and personally, I, I don't think the, the Dolphins would need to trade up. I think they're in a safe spot that with the Giants after them, Giants aren't looking for a quarterback. They already got their guy, Daniel Jones. So Whoever they want, I think he's still going to be there. If they want to be aggressive and make the trade from 5 to 3, they could. I don't think it's needed. So if a team is really going to trade, in my opinion, it would have to be the Chargers to get the guy that they want. All right. Um, so we talked about we'll, – we'll go skip to pick 7 since we talked about all that stuff. Up to pick 6. Pick 7 is the Panthers. I've seen stuff with them trading back. 
Uh, but I would fully expect them to take uh, Derek Brown if he's still on the board. Maybe if their guy's not there, they could trade back for a team who's quarterback needier for some reason. One of the better ones is still on the board. Well, they've been they've been showing small signs of rebuilding, so maybe they'll they'll want to trade back. I'm not saying there there's a complete rebuild there in Carolina, but I wouldn't be too surprised to see them go back. Although I think they could get a good player after at least in the the draft order that we have right now, two quarterbacks will probably be selected before them. I think yeah, and I, I do think that Carolina is a potential kind of sleeper trade back candidate because, like you guys have said, they are kind of in that rebuild mode under first year head coach Matt Rule and new quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. Um, it, it all depends for me um, on if they should trade down. It kind of depends on how these first um, six picks kind of play out. You know, like if Isaiah Simmons or Derek Brown is there, I think they can take them and still feel very, very good about themselves and how they're starting that rebuild on defense. But, you know, they are a team. They're rebuilding, like we've said, and they could use some more picks, so trading down would certainly be an option for them. Yeah, I think that they're in a rebuild, but it's more of a quick rebuild, so I think they're trying to win this season. I don't think that they're going to trade the pick unless someone that they really want was just taken and they have no reason to pick somebody else. Uh, next pick is the Cardinals. Uh, I don't think they're going to move. I mean, I've, I, again, I've seen stuff, I believe, where they move, but I think they stay and get either a wide receiver or a tackle. I think they stay yeah, there. That's got to be a tackle. Take a tackle here, stay put. Yep. Next one is the Jaguars at nine. I've also seen stuff with that movie. You might want to trade up to get Derek Brown or whatever to fill the void at the defensive tackle position. Uh, but again, I think that the Jaguars might stay still, at least for this pick. I don't think they. I don't think they trade up. But once again, it's another. They re- trade back, yeah. But it's that's what I was gonna yeah. say. It's another rebuilding type look to this team. So I could see them trading back to try and get more draft picks because they've been trading away players. And it looks like they're trying to fresh or start new with Gardner Minshew. Yeah, the, the only scenario where I maybe see them considering the trade up is if Jeff Okuda slides a little bit. And if he's still there, you know, they pick that in, and Detroit doesn't take him, maybe Jacksonville tries to trade up and get him. He'd be their new um, kind of force in the secondary. But that's just one scenario I expect Jacksonville will likely stay put. Yeah, uh, in that scenario, the only thing I see for them is going back. We'll go to pick 10. It's the Browns. I fully expect them to stay there and pick the best tackle on the board. Yeah, I think they'll stay. All right, uh, pick 11 is the Jets. Uh, I don't see them moving very much unless they really want to trade up to get either a tackle or wide receiver that they love. But, again, I think they can get whoever uh, a good player is still sitting at that 11 position. I think, po- I think possibly with the New York Jets. Um, not possibly, but they're most likely going to be the team that's able to get a wide receiver first. I don't think any yeah. of these top 10 teams yeah. are going to draft a wide receiver. Um, so I don't think they'll need to trade, but maybe other teams will trade, which we're about to talk about. All right, we got to pick 12. It is the Raiders. Uh, I'll let you guys go. I... Never really know what the Raiders, yeah. so I, I really don't feel comfortable saying anything, you know. Maybe there's some player that they absolutely love, but they trade their two first-round picks and vault them in the top five. Who knows? You can't really rule anything out with Mike Mayock and uh, John Gruden and this now Las Vegas Raider team, you know. You know, everything's on the table f- with them, and, and they showed us that last year, so I do expect them to go after a wide receiver with this pick. Um, do they trade up in front of the Jets to make sure they get their guy? Possibly, but, I mean, this is just a team that's in almost impossible to predict what they do in the draft because they're just so unique, I guess. Yeah, that could be a possible trade with the Browns or maybe the Jaguars as well if the Raiders are trying to get themselves a receiver that they want and don't want the Jets to take them before they do. All right, I think we analyzed that. Good, let's move on to number 13, the San Francisco 49ers from the Indianapolis Colts. Uh, I don't think there's any gaping holes on this team, so they don't necessarily need to uh, move very much. They take just take the best guy on the board. And, hey, maybe even if you're not too high on some people on the board, some people you love were already taken, you can trade back because you still have another pick later. Yeah. And then you can get something out of it if you really don't want someone because they have no specific voids in their team that they need to be filled with this number 13 overall pick. This is a team I could see a lot of te- other teams trying to call and say, hey, can we take this pick just because yeah. they'll know that they might be willing to give it up. Because you look at the 49ers and – you're trying to, let's just say we're not doing trades. You're just trying to mock draft them. Who do they need? They don't need a specific position necessarily. So for them, it's just preference of best player, in my opinion. That's I mean, right. yeah. there's still obviously some holes, but uh, so they're a team that can 
fall back in the draft. We'll go on to pick number 14, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Uh, I would expect them to stay where they are. They already got their quarterback in Tom Brady for now, so I wouldn't expect to see them try to get anyone else, at least for now, because I think Brady's on a two-year contract, if that's correct. Um, so I think they're going to stay. I'm with you. That's correct. All right. Number yep. 15 is the Broncos. Um, I'll let you guys go. Well, they showed tendencies of trading back in the draft. They did it last year with the Steelers, and they seemed to get the guy that they wanted and no fan. So uh, we've seen it in the past. Who's to say they can't go back in the draft again? It wouldn't be terrible, especially if they're looking for a wide receiver um, and they think they like one they could get later in the first round. Why not? Yeah, and I also think it's possible that they do trade up kind of for the same reason. If there's a wide receiver yeah. that they absolutely love, maybe they try and leapfrog the Raiders and maybe even the Jets. I mean, who knows? You know, they want possibly. to build this offense around Drew Locke and, you know, find someone to pair with uh, Cortland Sutton in that receiving game. I, I, I've seen rumors that they really like Henry Ruggs, and I do think he'd probably still be there, but maybe they just don't want to take any risks and trade up. Who knows? But I do expect Denver to target a receiver, whether that's staying put, trading up, or trading down. All right, fair enough. Let's move on to 16. It is the Falcons. Uh, I've also seen stuff with them moving. I'd expect them to probably move up rather than anything else because I think they're in a position where there's going to be a lot of mid-round players that are going to fall to them that are still going to be very good. So unless they want to trade up to get someone that they really love, maybe a cornerback, maybe, I don't know, try to trade up to get Jeff Okuda, that'd be a big statement for them. But who knows? They could do that. I think they're only trading up in my opinion. I wouldn't see them falling. I mean, unless the team really wants his pick. I think they'll stay at 16. That's, they seem content. Yeah. All right, number, seven, number 17, it's the Cowboys. Uh, kind of the same deal. I don't really see them moving very much. They don't move really much at all, especially yeah. in the first yeah. round. Yeah, I think they'll stay like Yeah. All right, next one is the Dolphins again at 18. Um, I think with three picks in the first round, they won't be doing much of moving unless it's with the first pick to try to trade out. Yeah, they might not even have this pick. <laughs> yeah, they might have yeah, exactly. No. So, um, I think we'll just let that one be, say that they're going to stick with it. Now, number 19, it's the Raiders, again, from the Bears. Uh, we talked about the Raiders before, who knows, but with the amount of picks they have in the first round, not necessarily needing to move up with this pick because they probably already got the guy that they wanted with the other pick before. Yeah, or could they, yeah. or they could have traded up to get the guy and don't have this pick. That's exactly right. Uh, 20, the Jaguars. We also discussed them before, but I could see them with this pick moving up. Well, they, this is their uh, second This is their second pick, so if they um, stay put at the other spot, I can I kind of just see them chilling here and just letting uh, whatever happens fall to them. Yeah, and unless there's some big surprise and Jacksonville goes after a quarterback. I expect Jacksonville to stay fairly put in this draft process. Yeah. All right, fair enough. 21, it's the Eagles. Um, I would. I mean, they've moved before, but I expect them to stay here with this pick. They'll have somebody good, a linebacker or a wide receiver, since it's such a deep class, they'll have someone to take and be happy with, or even a secondary person as well. I would think and, they would stay, but they're kind of unpredictable. So. Yeah, and actually, for me, Philadelphia is a team that I think is a definite trade-up candidate because of a couple of things. One, uh, they, they they know they can do it. The Eagles are not afraid to you know, make that big move. They did it last year to Ryan. Last year, uh, they leapfrogged <laughs> the Texans to take Andre Dillard. They just moved two picks or something, but they wanted to get their guy. I look at maybe a situation where, say, there's three receivers off the board, and whoever that fourth one is that's still there, whether it's Ruggs, Jefferson, someone else. Philadelphia knows they need a receiver. Maybe they try and leapfrog the Jaguars or a couple other teams to make sure they get their guy, even if it's only moving up two spots. We know Doug Peterson. We know this front office. We know the way that they operate. They're aggressive. They want to make sure they get their guy like they did last year with Dillard. I would not be surprised at all to see Philly trade up to make sure that they get a, one of those top four receivers. And even if they want to get C.J. Henderson or something, I know there's talks about the uh, the Falcons taking them so they could try to trade in front of the Falcons to get a cornerback of the future as well, but they did just get Slay, so they don't necessarily need it as much. All right, let's move on. 22, it's the Vikings. Uh, they already had their fair share of trading, I guess you could say. They got this pick from the Bills in the trade for Stefan Diggs. Um, so they could move with this pick, but I think they're going to stay with it. I mean... What, what do I know about all these, really? They, they have the capital yeah. to trade up. 
I don't see them doing it though. I think they'll yeah, I'll just stay put. yeah. All right, twenty three could be interesting. Probably not though. It's the Patriots. Um, some people might think the Patriots could trade up to get a quarterback. I don't think any of us do. I think that they're going to find somebody. Uh, not in this draft. Uh, who knows? We'll see what the Patriots do. Uh, so, for me, I think they're going to stay here, but there's been talks about them moving up for quarterback. Don't think it's going to happen, in my opinion. Okay. Yeah, it's possible, but, I mean, you look at this situation, uh, maybe there's someone that they really like at the top of the first round, or maybe they try and, you know, go more mid-rounds to find a guy or trade back with this first-round pick into the second round to accumulate more draft capital. I mean, normally you wouldn't think of the Patriots as a team to trade up because more more times they're either staying put or trading now. But, you know, I mean, the times are changing. You know, Brady's not there. You know, it's kind of a new era in New England, so maybe they shock us all on draft night. But I do expect them to stay here unless there's some quarterback that falls really far unexpectedly. Mm-hmm. I was going to make a joke, but we're running low on time, so I'm not going to do it. We'll go on to 24. It's the Saints, and they're a team that they don't necessarily need anyone, so they could trade back with it. Yeah, for the sake of time and the sake of reasoning, I don't think the Saints are going to do any trades, and I'm just going to leave it at that. All right. Um, We're back at 25, and it's the Vikings again. We kind of just talked about them, so we'll go past them. Uh, Then 26, the Dolphins again. Uh, We talked about this before. Might not even have this pick if they choose to trade up earlier in the draft, but I think with this pick, they're not going to move. Or maybe someone wants to come maybe, in from the second yeah. round and try to grab someone. I was going to say, know. maybe someone who doesn't have a first round pick wants to try and sneak in and take someone. And This, this would probably be the one to do so. Yeah. Alright, All right. the Seahawks. Uh, unpredictable. No, they'll just draft yeah. an average guy. Yeah, yeah what third round guy are they going to get with this pick? <laughs> Alright, a uh, roast thrown to the Seahawks, let's move on to another bird, it's the Ravens, um, I don't really see them moving that much, they traded up to get Lamar Jackson, absolutely they're not going to trade up in this scenario, I wouldn't think, unless they really want to go get somebody, I think at this point they're probably just going to take whoever's there, uh, so yeah. Yeah. These, I think they stay put. These next couple of picks, I don't see anyone moving, yeah. except for one maybe. Yeah. Uh, the Titans, no. I don't see them, see them going anywhere, um, in my opinion. The Packers, I think they just take whether receiver they have ranked at best at their big board whenever this pick comes to them. I don't see them moving up to get a receiver. They're too far behind where all the other receiver new yeah. teams are to trade It'd up be that too far. too big of a ca- capital to lose. Yeah. Uh, 49ers, we talked about them before. This this could be one, though, where they're, this pick, again, someone from the second round wants to come in and yeah. swoop. Yeah. Because the 49ers already have a first-round draft pick earlier in the first round, so who knows what could happen with this one. Absolutely. Yeah, this would be maybe if there's a team that wants to leapfrog Kansas City to take a running back in the first round because there's some rumors that the Chiefs could take a running back with that 30-second pick. That's definitely a possibility there. That's right. very, very true. We get to the Chiefs. And I don't think they're going to move. I mean, I think I'm one fine. of those guys who say they'll take a running back, the best one available on their big board. So I think they stay at 32 and pick halfway as the last pick of the first round. Yep. All right. So there it is. We went through all uh, the 32 first picks in the draft and uh, told you whether we think we're going to trade or not. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, hit the notification bell. Comment uh, any of your opinions down below. And with that, we will see you guys later. See ya. See ya.